To perform this weighted least squares, let's make another couple of variables called parameters. We'll put a W on here, not to confuse them with the other ones for weighted. And new covariance matrix as well. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do the curve fit and put our x data and y data fit to our line. But we're going to add a new uh, variable here. We're going to associate our y errors with this sigma keyword. So what that's going to do is it's going to do a least squares fit, but it's going to associate each data point with its uncertainty, and it's going to perform perform the weighted least squares with that in mind. Uh, so in addition to that, uh, we need to do our parameter errors. And again, this is going to be weighted, and we're going to just cut and paste this. Same thing from there, and do that on our covariance variable uh, for the weighted least squares. And let me just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to move this up here so that we can keep these separated. And I'll just say y fit w for our weighted fit is going to be this same line right here, except we're going to look at the weighted parameters like that. OK, so now we're going to get uh, a new set of parameters with their associated uncertainties. Uh, and let's go ahead and plot that and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return here. Whoops, covariance w is not defined. That's because I can't spell covariance. OK, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and plot this on our big graph down here. So I'm going to add another line to my graph. I'm going to say plot.plot. .plot, and we're going to call this x line y fit w. And then this label will be equal to the weighted linear fit. And if I do that, you can see now that this is different, right? I've got a different uh, line. It's being affected by these data points with smaller error bars, and I get a different slope and intercept than I do uh, with the unweighted line. So that's how we do our, um, our absolute, or that's how we do our weighted, um, weighted least squares. And I just realized I forgot to add another keyword up here. Um, we want to say that the absolute uh, sigma is equal to true. And what that does is it just says that the, the error bars are, are you know, values that are associated with the, with the magnitudes of those, of those beta points. Uh, it's not really going to change the results because I think that's the default, but there you go. Um, so again, we also have the uncertainties associated with those because I can print out the parameters uh, in the error bars, and that tells me uh, what that's going to look like. In the next video, we're going to look at fitting nonlinear data. So we'll see you over there.